Hi, I'm Dave Webster. I've been an airbrush artist now for since 1982. Um, and in the recent years, I've had an amazing uh, opportunity to work with a man named Fred Treadway, who's hired me to do custom paint jobs on these custom trikes. Uh, he wanted a collection, and he started uh, prior to me. He worked with an amazing artist named Chris Cruz, and so following him, I had to actually really do some amazing work uh, to make Fred happy with the projects that he did. Um, the one you're seeing now is actually his latest project. You know, it's uh, basically. Uh, about his ride across America. He, he rode this uh, trike from his home in Florida all the way out to California, up to um, Washington State, and all the way up to Maine, and back down to the Florida Keys. So this job was the uh, memorial of that ride. And so he tried to try and capture the entire United States in, in one sort of continuous image around this trike. And uh, it also had to have a vibe that, you know, that kind of fits Fred's personality. He's, he's sort of a fun uh, person, but he's also very demanding, loves a lot of detail, and he doesn't like any area of the trike to be empty. So there's a lot of space in here that I had to kind of use as filler. So I had uh, all the uh, signs from the interstate signs, welcome signs that sort of transition from one section to another. And most of the images here will focus on the four corners because this is basically the four corners of America ride. Uh, and so with each piece, I had to kind of create a really unique mural with each space. Like this was actually his niece's um, that posed for that shot. Um, and it was kind of fun to work with it because each, each image, some of it was taken from other art that I found. A lot of it was just comprised from all these different images, thousands of different images I had to create. Uh, the flag that you're seeing there was actually a flag flowing uh, at the um, veterans uh, station here in Jacksonville. So with each part of this trike, I tried to make it you know, unique in the image, a uh, strong composition within each space, but then each space transitioning into the next space. And some spaces you know, being less cluttered, but still having something to look at that would help to transition into the next area. Now again, one of the cool things about these was the, the chance to do just an incredible amount of work. Um, this particular area was the front, the very first piece of this trike, and it kind of set the tone for the entire trike. Um, it was actually Fred in uh, Key West, and that was his girlfriend, former girlfriend that posed for it. And I had to find a way to make her topless and still tasteful, so I had her painted uh, as, as though she had body paint on that you might find uh, at a festival they have there in Key West called Fantasy Fest. So, you know, again, with each section, I had to kind of really think about how to make a unique image and, and uh, make that image tell a little bit of the story, but also look great within the space. And so when you're working on spaces like this, which are really broken up and kind of fractured, it's kind of a, a real challenge to do that. But that's kind of what's fun about these pieces. Um, this was actually, if you see it, was Hemingway, and, and again, he was uh, kind of a famous character in Key West, and he, he loved uh, fishing for marlin. So I actually, for this piece, I actually posed and then stuck uh, Hemingway's head on my body. Same thing with uh, sort of a sort of image of Jimmy Buffett uh, singing to a mermaid. Uh, again, those are all unique original images that I created. Uh, the figures were actually figures where I used myself as the model and then just put the person's head on there because uh, again, I didn't have somebody to pose for these, but I had to kind of work within what I had. Now there was three trikes. Um, that was the last trike that I did. The first one was Route 66. Um, the second one was the American Indian trike. And so each one had a very unique concept and the concept had to be developed across the entire vehicle. And then I had to use different types of um, graphic uh, designs to actually hold the compositions together and make it visually interesting. You know, so it again, so it didn't seem like a, a bunch of clutter on the trike. It seemed like a unique composition that rolled across the entire space. So, these these each one of these probably took me somewhere between 1,200 to 2,000 hours to complete. And so that's why working with Fred was really unique. I mean, there aren't very many customers that are willing to actually pay for your time and uh, have you do that kind of work and appreciate it. You know, the level of appreciation that he's had for my work and the time that he's given me to do it uh, has been really gracious and uh, it's allowed me to create these really amazing 
trikes and, and something that you know will be with him, but also to kind of set the standard and, and raise the bar a little for what can be done in custom vehicles. Um, the world's changed a lot in the last 15, 20 years as far as what custom vehicles can be done. And, This is actually a piece by Chris Cruz, who was one of Fred's first artists who did these, and he's an amazing artist. And so, you know, again, when you're working around people like that, you gotta do your best, and it's great to have the opportunity to do that work. And so that's what these things did for me, and I'm glad you were able to see them.